Let's stay. Well, might as well play Friday the 13th base game anyway. Ah, Friday the 13th on the NES. Now, I know the Angry Video Game Nerd already did a game review on this game, but frankly, I don't care. I can do what I want, and it's Friday the 13th. So, yeah. So, you've probably already seen the AVGN's review on Friday the 13th, and um, you probably know the game sucks, and it, it does. This isn't how to win at Friday the 13th. This is the game review on Friday the 13th. And, oh my god. Well, first of all, the weapon sucks. I mean, sure, you can upgrade it to, like, a dagger or whatever the crap that is. But you start off with a rock, and the rock flies over every enemy. You have to be really close or really far from your enemy to hit your enemy. Not that it matters, because you can just jump over them anyway. And, listen, I know Jason Voorhees is Jason Voorhees, but, come on, he, he's a little too, okay, never mind. Not, not even, I don't even. So, you have five characters to play as, and you, they're all the same. They're all the same character except for appearance um pointless moment why can't you just have five lives well I don't know I mean you do have a pretty big health bar now the only thing that would really make up for that health bar is two health bars of the same amount of hits because you're gonna get hit a lot you know I stopped recording the gameplay as soon as I died and that only took about 15 minutes yeah oh god so let's start this so the map is really confusing it's like Okay, Jason's over there. Let's go. Okay, Jason's on the left side. So, let's go to the left. And then it sa the map says, you've gone to the right. And then you're farther away from Jason. That doesn't make any sense. The map is one of the most confusing parts of this game, other than the maze. And the maze is... Probably the worst part of this game, other than the hit detection. Or the cane in Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. God, this game sucks. Okay. Anyway, so five characters, pick one, and there's nothing really to do other than kill enemies and go in the cabin when you hear the Jason alarm. Um, you can try to go find Jason in the crazy ma maze game, and it's basically the scary maze game, but ten million years before that because this game came out in, um, um... nineteen eighty nine that's not long ago at um all so you don't really have anything to do in this game <sighs> other than hope for the Jason alarm and then go into the scary maze game and then take down Jason for now because it says that
that's all you do in this game is walk around use your weapon and then when the Jason alarm is on go to the cabin that's all you do and that only happened a few times in the recording okay don't get this game don't don't get this game okay don't download it or buy it I mean you can play your own risk in the description below or somewhere on screen annotation the game somewhere um that's why I got my gameplay for it because I don't have the original NES game I mean I have an NES but I don't have the game I don't have a full collection of NES games um let's see here this game is just really hard to subscribe to describe this game is just really hard to describe because there, you can't really do anything it's just the same bull crap over and over again there's nothing to this game it's just walking around killing enemies that's it that's just it and it sucks it sucks so what does this game get a rating of well i mean it was 1989 on the nintendo entertainment system so for graphics those I guess were good in 1989 so graphics get a 6 out of 10 in this game now for gameplay there is nothing good about the gameplay sure Ghostbusters on the NES was bad but for some reason I enjoyed it I don't know why, but it was kind of addicting. But this game. Comparing Ghostbusters on the NES to Friday the 13th on the NES is hard for me for some reason. Because I actually enjoyed Ghostbusters, but I didn't enjoy this game. Not one second of this game that I played, I enjoyed. It was not enjoying to play this game. Not at all. Don't play this game. Play at your own risk, guys. Do not play this game. Don't play this game.